It's something everyone must do, but when the time comes, are you ready to die? And tonight, KIMT News 3's Natalie Tindall is investigating what life's final chapter actually might cost you. She's in Studio 3 to tell us about some planning most of us would rather not think about. Death. The one appointment we all must keep and for which no time is set. That's a quote by the fictional detective Charlie Chan. But that appointment can be pretty pricey, especially when you look at what all goes into that final cost. And it varies person to person. Some experts in the business I caught up with are laying it all out. They point to costly decisions that have to be made and what to expect on the final tab we all eventually have to pay. Planning for the future is something many people do, but Ruth Rosenthal is taking that a little further. The 89-year-old has already planned out her funeral. I thought it would be quicker and easier for everyone if I had plans made ahead of time. And by ahead of time, she means over a decade ago. In fact, it's an event she's been preparing for since her 70th birthday. Because I didn't know. How do you know what's going to um, One of the first things to decide is what you want done with your body. I'm going to be buried. Yeah, uh, everything's paid for as far as I know. The casket. And when it comes to picking out caskets, Erickson says that there's really two to choose from. You have a wood one or a steel one, but that's not the only decision you have to make. Others include the lining of the casket, your type of vault, and how personal you want to make it. But there's another option that's gaining popularity that doesn't require a casket at all, cremation. You can see that since the late 80s, the percent of deaths cremated has tripled and is currently the option of one-third of all deaths. The Cremation Association of North America thinks that number will be well over half by the year 2025. Part of that reason is the convenience, but also the cost. I think the lowest cost that uh, would be a, a direct cremation or simple cremation service. Uh, where there are no services, viewing, uh, typically for that type of service uh, around uh, 1500 to $2,000 for a cremation service uh, memorial service, uh, typically around uh, $4,000. But you're still not done yet. It's been said that there's well over you know, 80 decisions that need to be made and within a very short period of time. That's why Ruth is making sure her plans are all set in stone. She's so prepared that she has her obituary written, her cemetery lot, and her gravestone. You know, it's a, it's a final resting place that they're choosing. And even though they are going to be passed away, uh, they're still their body, and they want their body or their ashes to be taken care of. So this is a popular area right here? Yes, it is. I you have two things to look for when the process moves to the cemetery. The price per lot, which in Elmwood Cemetery in Mason City, ranges from 300 to $450, plus the cost of a service. Some people, you know, they don't care what the cost is. They want to honor their loved ones. And, of course, most of us have a budget. And that price varies depending on location, religious section, and what type of monuments they can place there. But all of these decisions can be made ahead of time, even if it's just with your family. And write some things down. Try to get some things down because some people have some real specific needs, some specific wants. Rosenthal doesn't remember exactly how much she spent on preparations for her death, but thinks it's around $6,000, a cost that keeps increasing every year. Right now, a bronze plaque and lot costs $1,800. Once you throw in a granite base, along with $620 in installation, the total jumps to about $2,800. But that just puts you in the cemetery. When you add in funeral services, embalming, body transportation, use of facility, and of course the casket and vault, that puts your grand total at about $10,000. Pretty pricey, but when it's all said and done, definitely worth it to some. I hope with good heart and <laughs> good feelings because after all, I'm 89 years old and it could happen to me any day. We never know. Bob Erickson says the lowest cost of dying would be a direct cremation. That will run around $1,500 with no service, minimal cremation container, and the removal from the place of death. He also says that if a family cannot pay for that, the county has an assistance program they can apply for. Thanks, Natalie. And the people we talked to suggest that you start planning out your funeral when you hit the age of 75, even if it's just thoughts on a piece of paper.